According to Wildcat, the Elk Fire grew about 20,000 acres since yesterday. It has now caused evacuation orders for residents north of the Montana state line. We were informed that all air operations were put on hold for several hours due to high winds. Evacuations were issued along Pass Creek and Sheridan County Road 144. Pass Creek is closed to all non-resident traffic. Though a total number has not been given at this point, several outbuilding structures have likely been lost. Now, despite the damage and immense challenges that this fire has brought to so many people, community members are gathering together to keep their spirits high. They also want to support those who are tirelessly working to contain these blazing flames. Ren Wadsworth reports. The elk fire blazes behind me, and even as it does, a community bands together to help keep those fighting fires on the front lines fed. At first glance, it may look like a distant cityscape. But the pinprick lights are what is visible of a fire stretching over 50,000 acres in northern Wyoming. And the mountainside wildfire looms over the people of Sheridan County. My home's on fire. You know, I, I like many, grew up on these mountains. Uh, our, our childhoods were spent up here. Our family memories were spent up here. Uh, and to watch it go up in flames, is, it's heartbreaking. Uh, it, it brings tears to my eyes, right? There's a flare up right now, and it's... It is hard to watch. Seeing the flames burning so close to home spurred Jacob Keithman and several others to take action, much like the firefighters working to protect their homes. They knew there were mouths to feed and people who could work together to make it happen. These guys are risking their lives up there right now. These guys are giving it all for me. This is the least I can do for them. Bring them a little bit of water and Gatorade and some sausage for breakfast in the morning. That's that's pretty simple. Nobody's asked for help, but you know it's a, it's a neighborly thing to do. You just got to offer sometimes. You just got to be there. Jake worked with the Parkman Bar to gather food and hygiene products for anyone who needs them, not just firefighters. They created a makeshift storefront full of supplies and donations in a matter of hours, all to support the people of their community. And while the work is incredible, those leading the charge say it's nothing if not expected. It's just an amazing community, and it's just not Sheridan County. The stores in town, you know, big corporates, individuals that give you their silverware just to help out. Um, I just, it's overwhelming is what it is. I... Crews in Sheridan County fighting the elk fire can come to Parkman Bar for a home-cooked meal and supplies. Several times a day, runs are made by the owner's family to bring food directly to the firefighters who need refreshments and relief. And as the elk fire continues to burn, their work is far from finished. But neither are the people of Sheridan County and the community coming together from across the country. We're worried about our mountain. We love our mountain. If it happened to you, it's worth paying forward, you know, just in the chance that it might. There's a lot of good out here. There's a lot of good everywhere. It's, uh, it, it's astronomical what can happen in a hurry when, when the community comes together. I mean, it, it's, it's mind-blowing. It, what can be done is, it, it's crazy. Ren Wadsworth, nonstop local. My goodness, Ren. First of all, shout out to Jacob and everybody else kind of taking this upon themselves to do that. That is um, humbling to say the least. As you're interviewing Jacob, he goes, right there, there's a flare up right there. That's heartbreaking. I mean, what were you seeing far enough away from the fire to be safe and staying out of the way of the firefighters. Yeah, again, incredible work being done by so many people on the ground right now. But like you were saying, and like I talked about in the piece a little bit, this fire is just looming over everyone who lives in Sheridan County. When you're driving down East 5th Street in Sheridan, which is one of their main streets, mm -hmm. the fire is just centered on, you know, the street. It is a constant reminder to the people who are down there and ash is just raining down like snow. You know, we took some videos. I took some videos while we were down there, and it's just incredible. Again, just the amount of ash that is accumulating even in Sheridan, which is pretty far from the fire itself. Again, it is just harrowing to see the amount of ash that's mm. pouring down on the people. Again, a constant reminder of that fire that is taking away, like Jacob was saying, m countless memories, countless times that people have spent on that mountain. Yeah. So really heartbreaking to see, and I'm sure for the people there, they're really feeling it right now. Yeah, and again, and, and, and so you know, watching this at home, while we don't rush in immediately, while we don't always have the video immediately, because we're trying to stay out of the way, 
So glad, Ren, that you had the opportunity to do that and share the story and, and put a spotlight on Jacob and all the other folks in that town who understand the impact that those other people are having from, as she was saying, locally, nationwide, whether it's big box with us, local establishment, uh, people coming together. And this is something that we're going to continue to follow as recovery efforts will go on for several months. Ren Wadsworth, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate you.